Where are we going now? Um, so we're going to go to this upside down forest. Are you taking it in motion? Uh, you know what? I, I kind of, looking at pictures, this place would be probably really fun if we were on mushrooms. It'll be up there forever. It's this upside down forest. Like, I don't know how to, else to describe it. This, this, the, I've allegedly. I've never heard of a thing like that. Allegedly, the guy that put it together was taking down some trees and he had one of those, like, tree, like, back things that grabs trees. I don't know what I think is. And he got pissed off. And he slammed a tree back into the ground, upside down. But is he growing still? I don't know. I'm getting an education on this <laughs> Oh, my God. My daughter just got a fidget spinner. What's that mean? It's this weird thing you just spin. Is it like a yo-yo? No, you just spin it. You hold onto the metal and you spin it. They're called fidget spinners. Why? Exactly. Look. Is that it? Yeah, that's all it does. It's like a mutant toy. Pretty much. Ooh, rainforest adventure. Rainforest adventure. Merka. Hell yeah. Go into the upside down forest. I don't know if you know where you're going. I don't. Wow. It's literally an upside down forest. I thought it was some kind of a joke. And look, would you like to come to the Tongue Ass National Forest? I'm not really crazy about it, but I'll go. How's it How going? How you doing? Good. I'm How Sean. I'll be your guide today. How's it going, Sean Jack? Welcome nice to, meet you. to Glacier Gardens. This is my dad, Steve, here. He'll be joining hey, us on the you? tour. Hi. He's our hey, master how's it going? gardener, head engineer. Like cool. So this is your garden? This is my garden, yes. Now, are the upside-down trees still alive, or are they dead? No, that's a recycled tree now. OK. So. They're pretty much dead. OK. My whole life as a landscaper, they said, green side up, green side up. I thought, what could happen if you plant it upside down? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, so quite a bit different than the rest of Juneau, of course. Landscaped here in the middle of town, but surrounded by glaciers and mountain ranges. We like to surprise people, raise some eyebrows pretty cool. with those upside down trees. Definitely has an indoor feel to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll pull up our vehicles right here. Okay. We'll get on board and uh, head up the mountainside. What the f is that? <laughs> Cue the Jurassic Park, that's right. <laughs> uh, we have no dinosaurs. One reason you don't want to reach out too far, we have these pesky plants called the Devil's Club. Devil's Club with those sharp thorns on the side of it. You do not want to get bit by the Devil's Club. This is where I came up with the idea for the upside down tree. I had this machine that I'd rented, and this log was sticking out between the trees. I rammed that log all the way through the machine, <laughs> stuck there, and its roots broke and they undone it. Wow, you're a hanging basket. <laughs> and that's when the idea for the upside down tree came from. Our beautiful accident. So as we go along, of course, our lower elevations is where Steve and Cindy Bowie have their fun slamming trees in the ground upside down, decorating the grounds to their heart's content. It's pretty cool. We're going to venture into the uh, upper canopy layers of this Tongass National Forest, see how Mother Nature has provided a pretty unique habitat right here in Juneau's backyard, the largest protected reserve in the United States. Wow. And this is the same as it has been now for thousands of years since the last glacial ice period once influenced southeast Alaska. So the towering trees up above us can be anywhere from 125 to 200 feet tall in their absolute peak. That looks. Oh, Are they black bears around here? Yeah, or? Black okay. Bears. Very few brown bears. Yeah. Oh, there are a lot of black bears. A lot of black bears. Are they big? Do they big? Yeah. Well, big. Yeah, the uh, biggest ones are the brown bears, and they get huge. Uh, like 1,400 pounds, right? Yeah. It, the uh, thing that's really scary is up north, the polar bears started mating with the... The Grola bears, bears, right? <laughs> and now they've got a great big name on green bear. They'll see you at a distance and come running off you, right? Well, if you move your food. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, uh, when you live in a land of ice, they... <laughs> they Seize any them, opportunity. They're eating it. This is one of my favorite views. Welcome to the top. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's a glorious view. You guys enjoy the view. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here, let me get a picture of you. Stand right here. Right there. Quite a view. Ozzy and Jack's World Detour. All new Thursdays at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on Access TV.